Hey guys, and welcome to a new like vlog type of video. I wanted to make a video well in advance from EGX, which is a thing that happens in England every year. Uh, it used to happen in London, now it's in Birmingham, and it's going to be the biggest one that they've ever done this year. Of course, myself and my friends are going again, and I wanted to give you a little pre-warning what days we're going to be there, answer a few questions, and uh, show off this costume that I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to be going with a bunch of my friends who are coming from all over everywhere really we've got people coming from uh, Canada we've got people coming from just generally all of Europe Scandinavia and the like um, and of course a few people from England as well who certainly looked out like myself that have it right here we won't have to go very far um, I wanted to let you guys know that we're going to be there for all four days or rather we're going to be in the Birmingham area for all four days so the event takes place on Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday we're definitely going to be there on the Friday and the Saturday and we might be there on the Thursday Sunday we're going to be in Birmingham but we might not be there on uh, Thursday Sunday so for the days that you want to meet us specifically you want to be there to see us then you need to be there on either the Friday or the Saturday so for the costume. I wanted to quickly show you what it is I've got. Uh, basically, we're doing a DND thing on Rare Drop, which is a collective channel that I'm doing with a bunch of friends. And we just started doing the streams and the videos are being made now. I'm playing as a character called Darian, who is a knight and has a full knight's armor thing, right? Uh, we got Rage Josh, he's like playing a wizard type character, so he's got a robe and a staff. Then we have Fluke, who's going to be a rogue type of character. So we all have like different gear and stuff. So I'm going to show you what I've got, like the whole thing, what I actually have, and put it on now, just to show you what it looks like and uh, what pieces complete it. So this is the Gambitson. This is the thing that goes like under all of the armor and stuff. It's like cloth and it protects you. If you're stabbed, it should hopefully help. It won't stop a blade, but it's supposed to help anyway. It also thickens me out, so when the armor's on me, it's not going to slide off as much and it clings and fits a lot better. But I feel really thick and weird, like I'm wearing a winter coat or something when I have it on. Uh, I'm going to be sweating a lot when I'm wearing the full thing, like on the day, in lines and stuff. Okay, so this is the blue tabard that goes over the gambits and, and sort of under all the armor. It's very nice blue. I like it. It's got a belt around it that we need to deal with this strap. Then he tells me this is normal, but I disagree. Um, and uh, this is going to be sort of the overall color scheme and, and the main part of it, honestly. And I'm happy to see that the Gambitson actually fits kind of nice. But Linny made a good point that my hands look sort of comically small compared. So I might need to get some like leather gloves or something like that. So these are the first pieces. We have the like chest guard thing that covers your neck and your upper body. And then the thing on the back here as well that goes around, they just connect each other. The point of this, sure, it covers your neck, but mainly it's used to hold the shoulder guards, which look really, really fucking cool. Okay, so this is it with the shoulders on, which looks way cooler, like immediately. So I'm really happy with the Gambitson again, because it's it really thickens out the arms, which really suits the armor. Um, it's not much, you know, it's, there's no chest piece or anything. Um, I do have leg, gu leg guards, but I don't think I'm gonna wear them, because they're gonna be under the tabard, so it's kind of pointless. Um, I'm planning on wearing black jeans under this. I'm thinking about getting some boots and again, my hands are kind of bare, so maybe I would uh, get some of those. There is one thing though we need to put on, which are the gauntlets that go over uh, these parts. Um, and then there's the sword as well. Now those are on, which uh, certainly bring it together. Um, you know, I don't know, like with the, with the gloves thing, they do look okay when these are on. Like it looks like it fits kind of thing. And obviously it would be a lot better for me if I wasn't wearing gloves throughout the whole day. But um, I don't know, I think it looks okay. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks. Finally though, there is the sword. This is the sword. It's like a giant lap weapon, great sword. Sent to us by the wonderful Lord Varian. And it really, I don't know, it puts it together. I can just walk around like this, smacking people in the side like I've got a ladder or something. In the, in the whole, I don't know, place. It's crowded, you know, you can barely move around. So I'm gonna be doing my absolute best not to hit people with this, but like the pommel, the actual handguard as well looks phenomenal. Um, it's gonna be really cool. The art that uh, Dynamo Tom made of our characters looks really cool. Obviously we don't look identical to the characters, but it's pretty close, very happy with it. Um, other than that, that's the whole costume. I'm gonna be boiling. If you have any tips or advice, please let me know if you've ever worn armor before. Um, especially in a situation where there's loads of people, I'm gonna be very warm, I guess drink a lot. But uh, do you think I should get gloves or does this look okay? 
and uh, boots. I'm probably gonna have to get boots. Finally, I'd like to quickly address a couple of questions I got on Twitter about EGX. Firstly, we have a question from Ray here. Where and when will you be doing meetups if you're doing them? Uh, so basically what we do when we're at EGX is we tweet out where we are, where we're gonna be. And if we pre-plan it, like let's say we go on the Thursday, but it's not about meeting viewers or anything, but then we go on the Friday to meet you guys, well then we'll let you know on Twitter as best we can, specific locations and specific times and for how long we'll be there as well. So your best bet is to follow our Twitters, whether it's me, Rage, or Flukes, or whoever's, to find out where we're gonna be during the day. Another great question from Nally Gnome himself. He asks, what day are you gonna be dressing up? Like, when are we gonna be in our costume? Well, since we're definitely gonna be there on the Friday and the Saturday, uh, it could either be Friday or Saturday. We are currently undecided. So when I do know, I will also let you know on my Facebook or my Twitter, or just generally maybe I'll weave it into a video somewhere. But for now, it's undecided. You know. We've got a big group. We have to make a sort of group decision on that one. So I can't really let you know the answer to that just yet. Here's a great question from Doomed Hunter. Where are you staying? I'm going to need an area code for research purposes and the good of all your fans, of course. You stay away from me, Doomed Hunter. You stay away. And finally... An obvious question from Ro. How stoked are you? I'm really fucking excited. It is a rare experience to be able to go to something like this where I can go play games before they're released and just enjoy gaming and everything going on in gaming and be around other people who are thrilled to do it. Seeing all of the other cosplays and costumes is always really fun and just meeting people is so fun. Seeing you guys and getting a face to these names and these numbers is a weird, fun experience. And being there with my friends who I rarely get to see, like I said, many of them are flying out from all over the world to come hang out and have a good time together. So it's just going to be four days of absolute fucking powerhouse fun. I'm going to be exhausted by the end of it, but I can't wait. It's always so fun. So I hope to see as many of you as I can at EGX. If you see me and you think, hey, should I say hi, fucking do it, man. I'd love to speak to you. I'd love to meet you. Either way, we'll also be recording as much of it as we can from many different perspectives. So hopefully we get some videos of it coming out after the event as well. Otherwise, thanks so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed the video irrelevant of whether you're going to EGX or not because the costume is pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you next time, guys.